Hello percussionists, my name is Brendan Thompson and in this video we're going to be talking about assembly and hand position for timpani and auxiliary percussion. In terms of assembly there really isn't much assembly required for these instruments. They're usually set up and ready to go when we get to them so we're going to focus more on hand position and grip. How do we hold the sticks and how do we hold these instruments? Starting with timpani, we play timpani with timpani mallets. So you're going to take your timpani mallet and about two thirds of the way down, you're going to grab it with your thumb and your first finger and then just wrap those back three fingers around the stick. Same thing with your other hand, two thirds of the way down, you're going to grab the mallet, wrap the back three fingers around and that is going to give us our proper timpani mallet grip. Now, unlike instruments uh, like snare drum, where we have a very similar grip, but we play with our palms facing down and the back of our hands facing up. For timpani, we're just going to spin our hands a little bit so that our thumbs are facing up. So as opposed to playing timpani like this, we're just going to go like that and play this way. Exact same grip, just slightly different hand position. And with that, we're ready to start playing timpani. In terms of auxiliary percussion, there are hundreds of auxiliary percussion instruments. For these videos, we're going to focus on just five, five that we commonly come across and commonly use in concert band, which are bass drum, suspended cymbal, crash cymbals, tambourine, and triangle. Now, I will admit that the auxiliary percussion portion of these videos is going to go by extremely fast. However, the beauty of doing this uh, via video is that you can always pause it and go back or rewatch it. So if something goes by uh, too quick and you don't catch it, feel free just to watch it again because it's going to go by really quickly. So starting with bass drum, we play bass drum with a bass drum mallet. And same as timpani mallets, we're just going to grab that stick with our thumb and first finger, wrap our back three fingers around, and we have our bass drum mallet grip. For suspended cymbal, we also play with mallets. We play with some soft yarn mallets, and it's going to be the exact same thing. Thumb and first finger about two thirds of the way down the stick, and wrap those back three fingers across. And our hands are going to be like snare drum with our palms facing down, and we are ready to play suspended cymbal. For crash cymbals, the grip can be a little tricky. There's a strap on the crash cymbal and a lot of times it has a hole through it. We actually don't want to put our hand through that hole. So if it's there, just pretend it's not there. Pretend it's one solid strap. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab onto that strap. Uh, I'm going to grab it pretty close to the cymbal here. So my fingers are going to go underneath and my thumb is just going to go on top of that strap. If you'll notice, the cymbal is actually going to rest on my knuckles. So it's going to rest kind of on that flat part of my knuckles there. So not that flat part of my knuckles, but right here on that flat part of my knuckles. So I'm not holding the cymbal this way, but just kind of like that and rests on there. So do that with both hands and we have our crash cymbal grip. Moving on to tambourine. Tambourine, we're gonna hold in our non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, hold it in your left hand. If you're left-handed, hold it in your right hand. And the reason for that is so that then we can play the faster rhythms with our dominant hand. You'll notice on a tambourine, there's usually one spot on it where there are no jingles. So you can see here, there's a break in the jingles and that's where we're gonna hold it. All we're gonna do is take your four fingers and put it on the back of the tambourine and your thumb on top like that. And then for kind of our hand position or placement, you're gonna wanna hold the tambourine at a 45 degree angle. So not straight up and down, not totally flat, but just a 45 degree angle. Um, and that's gonna give us a nice crisp sound when we're playing this instrument. Lastly, triangle. So the triangle beater, the little stick, exactly the same as everything else. Thumb and first finger, and then wrap those back three fingers, uh, back three fingers around, 
and we've got our triangle beater grip. And then for the triangle itself, it's usually on some sort of a clip. So the grip might vary a bit depending on what type of clip you're using. I like using just kind of these standard metal clips. And what I like to do is you're going to hold the triangle again in your non-dominant hand, just like tambourine, so you can play the rhythms with your dominant hand. So I like to make a C with my non-dominant hand, or kind of like you're, you're holding a glass of water. So you've got your C, and then just put that clip right on top of that C there. And just for some added stability, I usually take my first finger and just wrap it over on the top, just to make it a little more secure. And there we have our proper triangle grip. So with all that said, we are now ready to start playing all these instruments.